Uh, now that the, all the valves have been fitted, the radiators have been piped, it's time to fit the case in. So a couple of features of the case in you need to be aware of. There are two knockouts on the side panels. These can be for high level or low level valves. Uh, if you knock out the low level valve, there is a collar to go around it that needs to be fitted to protect, the, um, to protect from sharp edges. In this instance, we're going to fit the high level valve. So what we're going to do is put the casing down on the floor and from the inside, just strike the, the inside edge of the cutout. And we do it from the inside to avoid, to avoid any damage to the outside of the casing. So we will now assemble the high level valve kit. So we take the capillary part, place the nut over the, over the copper fitting on the end and push that through the hole in the side panel. Take the other half, slot it over the capillary and fit accordingly and tighten up and down. So that is now the capillary fitted. So we now take the cap off the valve and it's worth just tucking that into the radiator so it's there for, for any future operations. Now fit the capillary onto the top of the valve in the same way as the TRB head would be fitted. Now before we fit the case in, just want to make sure that the locks are up because we have been working on it. And now it's a simple case of lift the case in on and down and then from underneath with a two and a half mil allen key just tighten the locks. And a few turns of the lock is sufficient to lock the case in.